The National Spying Agency has installed special hardware on over 100,000 computers so that those systems will transmit data to the NSA even while they're not connected to the Internet. This is being reported in the mainstream media because they have no other choice but to try to maintain the aura of credibility, their fraudulent uh, aura that they've been portraying for years. Because this news was reported now several weeks ago by security expert Jacob Applebaum who reported in detail how this type of system works. So, at least 100,000 computers. Oh, by the way, don't worry about it. It's, it's only computers overseas, the mainstream media reports. Yes, they would never do this to any congressmen, any journalists. No, it's, it's just 100,000 terrorist suspects in foreign countries that they've installed this type of system on. I reported several weeks ago that Scientists have jumped the air gap uh, in a different m manner. So they can actually hack into computers through sub-audible radio signals that are then picked up by the microphone built into laptops and computers. And they can transmit data and, and hack into the computers that way. It's called jumping the air gap. might want to go and look into that because the computers all have speakers and microphones built into them. And so from... Um, many, you know, tw what was it 65 feet away at least, confirmed, uh, using an ultrasonic frequency that can't be heard by the ear, um, and most likely a backdoor system that's been built into all operating systems, into the Mac operating system, into Windows, with their friendly computer programmers working, you know, for the NSA working in these companies, uh, so that this is able to uh, happen. So anyway, back to the 100,000 confirmed um, computers that have hardware in them. They probably have actually been doing this in all systems, or if not, they, they will be doing this. This will just be a standard practice so that if you're not connected to the Internet, these the computers will still have hardware in them, chips and etc., that will then transmit to the cell towers, um, this will all be, you know, top secret. But thankfully, we'll have people like, hopefully, people like Edward Snowden, um, Jacob Applebaum, security expert, uh, that can report on these things and confirm uh, with authentic documents and inside sources that this is what is going on. This is quite shocking. Um, do I have the article up here? Um, earlier reports came out that the NSA was intercepting online purchases of laptops from people to then install this kind of hardware uh, or to just replace their system with something that has this type of uh, device built into it. And even if they don't have access to the motherboard, to the actual computer themselves, uh, they have small little chips that are installed in USB cables. And so that uh, iPhone charger that you may have, uh, that little... USB plug may have a little chip in there that is able to transmit miles to the NSA's uh, little black box that picks up that information. So pretty scary stuff. Oh, but of course, just don't worry about it. It's only 100,000 outside the U.S. Oh, thank you, New York Daily News. That's why it took them you know, three weeks to report on this after it was reported by Jacob Applebaum because I'm sure that these mainstream outlets had to call the NSA and be like, well, is it okay if we report on this? And then the NSA tells them, well, uh, yeah, I guess you're going to have to, otherwise nobody's going to really believe you and your readership is just going to drop even more. And um, Mark Dice's YouTube subscribers are just going to keep going up because people are going to go you know, to him for real news. Uh, so, yeah, just, I guess you're going to have to report on it, but just say that it's computers outside of the United States. Yeah, yeah, they certainly wouldn't be doing this to any Congress people, any judges, any journalists like myself. Just absolutely incredible the level of uh, hacking and just, just absolute criminal behavior. The program was um, codenamed Quantum. And the devices, of course, can be secretly installed on computers when they are manufactured. Oh, yeah. So, see, they're just working with the manufacturers. Of course, the heads of the NSA just uh, sent reps to all major tech companies, hardware manufacturers, software manufacturers, 
and um, you know, just uh, threaten them under national security that if they ever mention anything like this is happening, that they'll just you know throw them in prison or just you know murder their family or poison their children or give them some sort of sickness. Um, that's how these people work. These are satanic, Nazi, beyond Nazi, kind of make the Nazis seem like uh, you know just ordinary criminals. Uh, but we're dealing with the most sophisticated intelligence, Illuminati criminal mafia that this planet has ever seen. And so we are in a race. We're, we're in a war. We're in a race. It is time is counting down to expose this, to fight this, to hold these people accountable. Any journalists, any Congress people that have been blackmailed need to just come forward who have been threatened. And see, that's how they do it. With the, they try to scare people in fear. But see, it, it's not going to work if they actually come forward because then they can't carry out the threats Otherwise, it's going to be confirmed and people are going to be looking at it and it's going to be confirmed that the allegations of the threats and the alleged blackmail were true. So the NSA is kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. and That's why they just used fear, try to scare everybody into not saying anything or not caring. And most people just have no idea. They just can't even figure this out. Um, so anyway, a couple months ago, the um, U.S. Navy declared that if hackers were to jump the air gap, it would disrupt the world balance of power. Okay, so it has happened, and uh, to you know, 100,000 machines, they can just use the subaudible signals to hack into virtually any computer. And I mean, at some point in time, I told you that the NSA sent reps to the tech companies and threatened them under national security to include back doors into all software to now include uh, special chips in the hardware. I have a source that works for a major tech company and he told me that there was a division within the company that he was working for that he believes is NSA, CIA, and they're installing chips in cell phones that the other programmers and other engineers don't even know what they do. Okay, so that's why it's now, I'm losing track of time here, but back in 2006, it became confirmed that the NSA could activate cell phones, even when they're powered down, remotely activate the microphone. Then be, that's because the tech companies are working hand in hand with these criminals. So. People need to come forward. People need to stand up. This is getting just absolutely ridiculous here. Even it's being even reported in Vanity Fair. Did the NSA insert a spy chip in your USB card? So, yeah, they did. Into 100,000 devices, at least confirmed. So, anyway, that's the National Spying Agency news today. The revelations just keep on coming. Now, much of this is old news to a lot of people, but I must admit that jumping the air gap using the subaudible signals... Uh, subaudible sounds that is extremely surprising so we got to think outside of the box and just imagine what else they have I mean I'm pretty sure that they can just beam down uh, from a satellite and pick up the radiation coming off of your monitor uh, using van what's called van Eck freaking which I wrote about in my book Big Brother the Orwellian Nightmare Come True where they can pick up and see what's on a monitor um, based on the radiation signals that the monitor is sending out. So I wouldn't be surprised if they can just beam down some sort of a laser device uh, into a residence, into a business, and then pick up the, using a uh, sophisticated form of Van Eck freaking, and then see what's on a monitor at that point. But it looks like probably every computer manufactured in the last, who knows, several years, five years, um, probably has these kinds of special radio uh, transmitters built into the hardware. So even if the system's not connected to the Internet, they still have access to it. Just incredible. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Stay tuned. There's more videos coming soon. On a lighter note, stay tuned for the Man on the Street Mondays. So it's a little more, a little more fun, a little more... Um, I guess it's still tragic comedy, but uh, a little more uplifting than this Orwellian news. But we need to know these things. We need to expose these things. This needs to become common knowledge. People need to become arrested. People need to get convicted of violating the Fourth Amendment. This is absolute beyond criminal behavior. This is the Orwellian nightmare. So anyway, thanks for watching. 
Stay tuned. More videos coming soon.